Good evening, Cyber Friends. This is Middle Man coming again at you from Walker's Music. Maybe I can get it done this time without the telephone ring. But we give God all the praise and glory for life, health, and strength. And we thank Him for each and every one of you. People, look at the title of my video. Please, please look at the title. It said, What did, what, oh, what, did, I got people listen to this video very, very carefully. Please do. You know, I watch a lot of religious TV, religious television, TVN, Daystar, Church Channel. Well, not so much Church Channel as I do the Daystar and TVN, the big two. But every time, every time I turn on, turn to a different channel, different program come on, I hear somebody start talking about the church replacing Israel. Oh, God is through with the Israel and now you're dealing with the church. People, please, please listen to me, the man, the deacon. Please, listen very carefully. I've spoken this here, I know, on numerous occasions. But please, listen to me very, very carefully. God is not through with Israel. He's never going to get through with Israel, number one. And this here crazy idea about the church replacing Israel. Wait a minute. People, listen to me. Wouldn't y'all agree that the church was born on Pentecost, right? When the Holy Spirit fell and got in all those believers that was in the upper room, just as Jesus said. Jesus said, I will be of my church, and the very gates of hell will not prevail against it. That's what Jesus said, right? Okay. That's what he told when Peter on Peter's profession of faith, that rock was that revelation knowledge of who he was. That is the rock. Well, people, on the day of Pentecost, when it was fully come, read your Bible. It said that all 120, that would have been 10 people from each tribe of the nation of Israel. That's what it took to make an assembly. An assembly took 10 members from each tribe. That's what the gathering. That's how come it was 120. That was up in that upper room on the day of Pentecost, which is the Feast of Pentecost. That would just happen to be the day that the Holy Spirit fell and filled all of them that was in the upper room. Let me let y'all in on a secret. Seeing that these are some preachers, some teachers, some other, whatever the reason might be, I don't know where they're getting it from, but it's, it's not logical. It's nonsense. But let me just, let me just explain it to y'all again. All 120 of those people that was in the upper room on that particular day and was filled with the Holy Spirit being the birth of the church, every one of them were Israelites. There wasn't a Gentile in the bunch. Let me say it again. Let me say it again in case you somebody else tell y'all that the church replacing Israel. That is dumb. That don't even make sense. Look. The church was Israel. That's all it was. I mean, come on, people, get real. You can read all 120 of the people that was in the upper room on that particular day, every one of them were Jews. The church started with the Jews. People, salvation. Don't y'all remember what Jesus told the woman at the well? Said, we Jews know who we believe in, for, for, for salvation is of the Jews. Don't y'all remember Jesus saying that himself? So now how in the world, out of all the, the stupidest thing for us to say, is that the church going to replace Israel when the church was Israel? We are the Gentile. We were grafted in, people. We came in after the fact. If it wasn't for the Jew, we wouldn't even have salvation. Come on, people, y'all, that is very simple. Don't let nobody fool you. Now, don't be deceived in that, please. Don't be deceived in that to let nobody tell you that God is not 
God, or the church don't replace Israel. How can the church be church? The church was Israel. How are you going to replace Israel with Israel? It don't make sense. We were grafted in. Jesus came and made it possible for all mankind now to have a portion and be in the, a part of the welfare of Israel. We all say that Gentile because of the Jews. If it had not been, they were the church. We came in after the fact. Come on, people, it's there in the Bible. Read it. Read it. When Peter was in Joppa at Simon of Town, that's where he was, he was napping. And when Cornelius, who was a, a Roman, a Roman soldier, him that had done great things for the Jews and his giving and his giving reached to heaven and it came up before God as a sweet savor and he told the angel told him to send for Peter send for Peter and that Peter were residing in Joppa Cornelius sent for Peter Peter had a dream from God, showed him all kinds of four-footed beasts, unclean beasts to the Jews, and told Peter to rise and kill and eat. Peter said, not so, Lord. I've never eaten anything common or unclean. God told him, don't call what I cleanse uncommon. Preparing Peter to go to the Gentiles, right then. Peter went down to Cornelius, and when they heard the gospel, before Peter could even finish preaching, the Holy Ghost fell on them Gentiles. That was brought us in. That was the first beginning of the of the Gentiles coming into the coming into the common welfare of, 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 of Israel, being saved just as the Jews were saved in the upper room. Peter saw it for himself. Even before he finished his message, the Holy Ghost fell on him. And guess what? Not a one of them had been baptized. And you got some people right now, preachers and teachers alike, will tell you that you got to be baptized before you can receive the Holy Spirit. That's a lie. Because Cornelius didn't receive the Holy Spirit, and they hadn't even been baptized. As a matter of fact, they didn't even know nothing about no baptism. But Peter can be the witness. Peter, are, Peter is the witness for that. They were baptized with the Holy Ghost, and they had never been baptized in water. Before they even finished hearing Peter's message, the Holy Ghost fell on them. And Peter was there to see it. Peter was there to see it. And he called for the others from Jerusalem, James and John, them to come down to see that what had happened, that these people had received the Spirit just like we did. And they were Gentile. This is when the Gentiles were brought into the welfare, the common welfare of Israel. But Israel was the original church, people. You can't replace something with something. You can't replace the people that really originated it. Why is it, what? It's like what JT was saying on the video he just done not too long ago. It's just what he was saying about these people with this Antichrist thing and everybody talking about the Antichrist. And I even commented on it about people just thinking that the devil got a, a tail with a red suit. People, you better get out of that fantasy world and read and study your Bible. You cannot replace, it's just like you come, going to the bank president the person that, that built the bank and somehow and the, the, that the bank own the bank owner and tell them that oh well we finna y'all finna be taken over by the first loan company. No, you can't do for somebody that originated. You can't take it from them. Salvation is of the Jew. Jesus told the woman at the well that which were a half breed Jew, a Samaritan. Jesus says we know what we. We Jew, we know who we worship. We know who we worship. For salvation is of the Jew. Jesus said that himself. People, how can you miss that? How could you miss that? So now, when you get these people getting up in the pulpit and on the on the platform behind podium and start telling you about the church going to replace Israel, dismiss that mess. Please do. That is a bunch of ludicrous stuff I ever heard in my life. How can you replace the people that originated it? 
When the Spirit fell on the Pentecost, it was 120 Jews. Wasn't a Gentile in the bunch. The Gentile one didn't come into the church until it started with Cornelius. It started with Cornelius. And even then, Jesus was preparing it because when he was at the woman, when he was talking to the woman at the well, Jesus was preparing it right there for the Gentiles to come in. Even though we are grafted into the family, but we can't go grafted into the to the family and then go take over. I know that's where a lot of us like to do. We want to. A lot of us, we, you know, you can't give us a foot over because we'll come in and take over the whole thing. But you are never going to take over Israel. You're never going to take over Israel. And God is not through with Israel. Whew, I hope I don't have to say that no more. Please, people, read and study your Bible. It's there. Cornelius was an Italian soldier, a Roman. He was a, of the Italian band. He was a centurion. Of at least 100, he, this, that meaning he was a soldier that was at least over at least 100 to 1,000 men, perhaps. He could have been that many. He was a centurion. But, you know, we get the word century 100 from, since 100 years. But that's what we get that word from. But what I'm saying here, regardless of all that, I didn't mean to go there. But just remember that Cornelius was a centurion. He was of the Italian band. He sent for Peter. Peter came to preach the gospel to his household, and all of them were saved. And the Holy Spirit filled them up just like it did the ones at First Jerusalem Church. So in other words, God, church, it was started, all Jew. We Gentiles were grafted in. And I know it's hard for a lot of people to understand that. They don't want, well, one of the reasons why they don't want to understand it, because they are so anti-Semitic, they hate to give the Jew the credit. But yes, Salvation is of the Jew. If it wasn't for Judaism and the Jew, we wouldn't have no Christianity. I just thought maybe y'all would want to know that. If it wasn't for the Jew and the, and the Jews and, and Judaism, Judaism, we wouldn't have no Christianity. Think about it. People, don't let people just shove you anything. Study for yourself. Read your Bible and study your Bible for yourself. So you, when people come up with these ludicrous things like the church replacing Israel, that don't even make sense. That don't even make sense. Don't even sound right. This is the man. Say whatever you get, whatever you get into, God ain't there to come out of it. God ain't going to come to nothing, people. Till the next video, your next Bible study, whichever come first. Peace. Goodbye.